what affects the Kc value. Now earlier I briefly touched on telling you that equilibrium, the equilibrium position of a reaction is affected by three things, temperature, pressure and catalysts, right? Um, not catalysts, temperature, pressure and concentration. However, when we talk about this value of the equilibrium constant, this thing is only affected by temperature. Now I've written it here very, very big. Um, in fact, I might even put a big blue box around it and, and, and say that the Kc value is only affected by temperature. It is only affected by temperature. It is only affected by temperature. Now, how is it affected by temperature? Well, this depends on the forward reaction and depends on whether it is exo or endothermic. So I'm going to give you two very quick keys um, and I'm going to tell you an increase in the temperature will increase the Kc value if the forward reaction is endothermic. Okay? And then I'm going to give you the contrary for that. I'm going to tell you a decrease in temperature. If you decrease the temperature, for it will result in an increase in Kc if the reaction is exothermic. Okay, let's just change that E. Now just remember that as two, two key notes for now. We will address this in detail once we've covered Le Chatelier's principle and we've done a number of questions, right? And how do you know endothermic here simply means that delta H is positive and exothermic over here means delta H is negative. Of course, this is in terms of the forward reaction. If those things are not 100% clear right now, don't worry, we still have many more examples to go through.